Batalha Monastery is one of Portugal's masterpieces of late Gothic architecture and also one of its most important monuments. Construction of the monastery coincided with Portugal's historical development. In 1385, under the rule of King Joao I, the Portuguese conquered their Spanish neighbours. This monastery was built in thanksgiving to the Virgin Mary who answered the people's prayers during the decisive battle of Alubarota. Because of this military victory, Portugal's independence was secure right up until the year 1580. with the political and historical significance of this victory. The architecture of the monastery is quite magnificent and full of artistic flair. Construction of the monastery took around 150 years. It was originally known as Santa Maria da Vittoria. The impressive entrance to the church dates back to the Manuelian period between 1495 and 1521, the reign of King Manuel. In Portugal, this sacred portal is unique. Its design is instantly recognizable as having been heavily influenced by French Gothic. Valuable images of evangelists, apostles, angels and religious figures decorate the portal's tympanon and archivolts. The interior of the Mosteiro de Batalha is like that of a cathedral. At a height of 32 meters and with a length of 88 meters, this monastery church is of generous dimension. Its architecture was designed to be magnificently regal and majestic, and it contains several royal tombs. Motifs of royal battle dress partly decorate the interior of the church, a reminder of its former builder and patron, Joao I. Through beautiful multicolored glass windows, rays of light illuminate a multitude of rich treasures. Imposing columns lead up to the cross sections of a pointed arch.
Construction of the monastery's so-called unfinished chapel took a hundred years. Work on it probably stopped in 1533. King Duarte ordered the construction of the burial chapel almost a century ago. This was to be his family's final resting place. Unfortunately, the reasons that led to the final surrender of this church as a pantheon are a mystery. The picturesque cloister dates back to the plans of the founder of the monastery, King Joao I, but it possesses a combination of decorative elements. At the beginning of the 16th century, King Manuel ordered a number of building changes for the so-called royal cloister. The church, the first chapel and the royal cloister each contain a common uniform design. Today, the numerous Gothic ornaments and beautiful glass windows of more recent times provide the monastery with a dignified show of colour. However, little remains of the Holy Dominican Order that worshipped in the Battaglia Monastery for more than four centuries. To counteract the gradual decay of the buildings, in specially constructed workshops, constant restoration is undertaken. This exquisite monastery is considered to be one of the most influential in the development of Portuguese architecture. However, the building represents more than a turning point in the arts. As a burial place of the Avis dynasty, it is of great historical and social significance. Both the unfinished chapel and the completed buildings of Battaglia Chapel are part of a wonderful legacy that dates back to a great, though lost, era of the past.